Hey guys, um, this week in family worship, we get to look at the book of Luke chapter 15. And Jesus is going to talk to us a little bit through parables or short stories about what it means to be lost. Have you ever heard someone in church say, we need to pray for our friends who are lost? And you may wonder, what does that mean? Well, it doesn't mean they're lost like they can't find their way on a map. Um, but it means that they are lost in their sin. They're living in darkness because anything apart from God, the Bible calls darkness, and that um, they need to be rescued by Jesus. So in our, in our lesson today, Jesus is actually talking to two groups of people. They're all gathered together and he's telling them this story. And you know what? These groups of people are a lot like me and you. Some of the people were sinners. They were people who knew they were lost. They knew that they were not following Jesus. They might have been tax collectors or people who were just stuck in their sin and did not know Jesus. But the other group of people were Pharisees and scribes, people who they didn't really know they were lost but they were trying to save themselves by being really good and following all the rules when inside their hearts did not love Jesus. And so Jesus tells stories that kind of speak to both of these people. In his very first story, Jesus talks about a shepherd who has a hundred sheep. Do you see how sheep kind of like to stick together? Well, he has a hundred sheep, but one sheep wanders off and is lost. Do you know the shepherd cares so much about that one sheep that he leaves the 99 to go rescue the one. And when he finds the one, he puts him on his shoulders and carries him back to the flock. And then he calls all his friends and neighbors and says, my sheep who was lost, I found him, let's rejoice. And Jesus says, isn't that how God is? When one lost sheep is found and rescued by Jesus, everyone, all the angels and God rejoice. Then the second parable or story Jesus tells is about someone who has 10 silver coins. Do you see my 10 silver coins? And they lose just one coin. Now, that might not seem like much to you and I, oh, but to the coin owner, they sweep the whole house, they look everywhere, and then they find the coin. And when they find the coin, they call all their friends and neighbors and say, look, I found my missing coin, let's rejoice. And that's just like God is when one lost person is rescued and saved by Jesus. And then the third story that Jesus tells is about a loving father who has two sons. Now, back in those times when a father would die, um, their children, their sons would inherit some money, sometimes land and money from their father. That was like their inheritance when your dad would, would die. And do you know, one of the sons was very greedy and he actually came to his father and demanded his inheritance early so that he could go live wildly and waste it on whatever he wanted. And so I imagine that broke the father's heart but he gave the son his inheritance and that son went off and lived wildly and wasted all of his money. And he became poor and hungry and he had to take a job feeding pigs. And one day he looked and he said, oh, these pigs are eating better than I am. I'm gonna humble myself. I'm gonna go back to my father and beg him to forgive me. And I'm going to beg to just be one of his servants. Well, the other son stayed with the father, did everything he was supposed to do, took care of things, was a good child on the outside, did everything right, kind of like those Pharisees who tried to follow all the laws. 
So here's what happened. The son who had wandered away, who was lost, returned to the father. And do you know the father heard that he was coming and saw him coming and ran out to meet him and put a ring on his finger and gave him his cloak and said, let's get the fattest cow. We're going to kill it and have a huge feast because my son who is lost has come home. He wasn't angry at the son. He was so thankful that the lost one had come back. But do you know... The other son became angry. He looked at his father and he said, I stayed, I've done everything right. And he was angry that the father had welcomed the other son back. Now, Jesus told this story as a picture of what we should be like. Do you know that before we meet Jesus, we're all lost. And when Jesus rescues us, God doesn't say, you're so bad. You've wasted so many years not following me. Look at all your sin. Oh no, he rejoices. In every single story, parable Jesus told, when the lost was found, everyone rejoiced. Oh, but you know what? Some people are kind of like the other brother. They're lost and they don't even know it because they think they can just save themselves by keeping all the rules when the truth is they need to run to the father we don't deserve the father to love us and rescue us none of us deserve that god just loves us we can't earn his love he just gives it to us because he loves us so much. He sent his only son, Jesus, to take our sin and die for us. He did it for the, the children who wander off into sin and rebel. And he did it for the children who try to be good on their own and don't really know that they need him. God loves all sinners and he can't wait to rescue those who are lost. Let's watch our video together. Tax collectors and sinners came to listen to Jesus teach. The religious leaders complained because Jesus welcomed sinners. So Jesus told them three parables to teach them about God. Jesus said, if a man has 100 sheep and loses one, what does he do? He leaves the 99 sheep and searches for the lost sheep until he finds it. Then he tells his friends and neighbors, let's celebrate, I found my lost sheep. In heaven, there is more joy when one sinner repents and turns back to God than for 99 people who did not wander off. Jesus also said, if a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one of them, what does she do? She lights a lamp, sweeps the house and searches carefully until she finds it. Then she tells her friends and neighbors, let's celebrate, I found my lost coin. Then Jesus repeated, in heaven, there is joy when one sitter repents and turns back to God. Jesus told a third story. A man had two sons. The younger son said, father, give me my inheritance today. So the father gave his son his share. The younger son left home. He wasted his money and lived foolishly. There was a famine and the people in that country did not have enough food. The son got a job feeding pigs. He was so hungry, even the pigs' food looked tasty. The younger son made a plan. 
he would go back to his father and admit he was wrong. He would ask to work for his father like the servants. So the younger son headed home. He was still a long way away when his father saw him coming. His father ran to him, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son began to apologize. I have sinned against God and against you, he said. But the father told his servants, Let's celebrate with a feast. Bring the best robe and put it on my son. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. This son of mine was lost, and now he is found. At this time, the older son came from the fields and heard music at the house. What's going on? He asked one of the servants. Your brother is here, the servant said. Your father is celebrating. The older brother was angry. He refused to go to the feast. The father asked him to come inside. The older brother said, I never disobeyed you, but you never threw a party for me. Son, the father said, everything I have is yours. We have to celebrate. Your brother was lost, but now he is found. Jesus told stories about people who were looking for things that were lost. Jesus told these stories to teach about himself. Jesus looks for people who are lost, people who do not know him. Jesus gave his life to save people from sin.